my only hobby right now are motorcycles I absolutely love motorcycle riding that's why I created this channel to help motivate people to get a motorcycle uh, and talk about anything and everything motorcycles and to bring us together as a community but you know what guys it's time for me to get involved in a new hobby something totally different in the power sports world so I'm gonna tell you all about this new hobby that I'm gonna do and I want to get your feedback on it stay tuned let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through i'm absolutely loving this new gear this new helmet bell helmet the super lightweight with the transition shield super sunny right now and this automatically tense and when it gets dark it goes clear awesome and this new sadichi jacket for oh man it's amazing the airbag vest to help keep you safe for those of you guys who want to get any of my gear i always include links in the description and comment section of this video let's go for a ride i'm tempted to go ride on this driveway and see where it goes to but <laughs> i don't want to trespass man uh so I know if this because I plan on getting some property one day with a lot of land I don't want people to just driving up in my driveway either but they should put a gate here you know what I'm saying to keep fools like me out of it <laughs> let's go for a ride tell you about this new hobby that I want to get involved in yeah <laughs> I love my supermodel baby <laughs> but you know what guys the new hobby that I want to get involved in is off-roading yes I love dirt bikes off-roading and I'll continue to do that but I want to get a side-by-side -side, or they're also called a UTV or whatever you want to call them uh, so I'll use the term side-by-side but I tell you guys, you know, when I went to that dealership not too long ago and I saw those new side-by-sides they got out now, you know, the Can-Am, Maverick, X3, uh, Turbo Double R, they got the Razor, they got all different types of side-by-sides. And I would tell you guys that I was absolutely fascinated with them. However, I feel that they are a bit pricey. If you factor in everything that you get with the side-by-side -side and how it's exclusively set up for off-road a lot of you guys said you can get a used jeep and mod it uh, but really to be honest with you if you get a used jeep for say like ten thousand dollars and you put a lot of money you know you know you're gonna put a lot of money into that jeep oh man this thing cooks boy <laughs> but you're gonna pour a lot of money into mods uh, to get it up to par to be able to do some crazy off-road like you can on those side-by-sides, man So I think they're worth it. I you know I saw a video where a guy was comparing, you know getting a, uh, a Jeep and modding it compared to buying a say even a used side-by-side because you could pick used side-by-sides up even cheaper You're better off with the side-by-side -side. Um, Now I know the drawback is is you can't get them plated in a lot of places, but I think here in Ohio you can get them plated, I think. I don't know. I don't see. <laughs> oh, I love this bike, man. <laughs> I'll tell you guys. But I see you guys on YouTube with your side by sides doing donuts and, 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 and speeding them on dirt roads and uh, riding crazy, crawling up rocks and, and uh, having a good time, man. It, that it looks a lot of fun. You know, I used to do off-roading in a, a Nissan Pathfinder back in the day. And I, I didn't do any crazy stuff. I just took a stock, you know, uh, you know, four-wheel drive Pathfinder and just messed around on, uh, you know, Rampart Range Road out in Colorado in the Rocky Mountains, you know, some offshoot roads. Nothing crazy. Um, and that was fun, man. I have to admit, that was fun, even though it's more fun riding dirt bikes, you know out on the trails but 
like I said, I want to try something completely different, see how I like it, and uh, and I don't know, we'll see, man. I want to share the experience with the channel. Yeah, that brat brat, baby. <laughs> you got to let these cars know what time it is out here to help keep you safe. Um, but I plan on buying some land. Like, uh, I want to get, like, at least, like, 30 acres with some ATV trails uh, to ride dirt bikes and, uh, you know, side-by-side -side on. And uh, I think that would be absolutely awesome, man, because I see how much fun you guys are having. Then I'd like to take it to the sand dunes and have a good time out there. And, uh, man, I tell you guys, you got to have fun in life, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be willing to try different things. A lot of you guys just do the same thing every day all day all the time a lot of you guys out there just ride the same type of motorcycle you don't really do anything else but just ride your harley or and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that man but i tell you you're missing out on a lot of fun uh not trying different types of bikes and, and vehicles and stuff because i would tell you guys if you rode a supermoto man <laughs> you get rid of your Harley Davidson. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing is so much fun, man. You get rid of any sport bike too. You know, out here on the street, guys, this is this is where it's at, man. This is the fun. This is ultra fun. But I definitely want to get a UTV or side by side, whatever you call it. I know Jeeps are cool too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on the Jeep Jeep life because I know there's a lot of there's a huge community of Jeepers out there. Um, but man, it can get so costly modding those things. Gosh. And I mean, you take it off road, you're not going to want to beat up on it like you can a side by side. You know, a side by side, it's made to take a beating. You know, you take, even though the Jeeps are made to take a beating, but do you really want to have your Jeep all scratched up with, you know, and banged up and scratched up and you ride it out here on the street? You don't want to be looking raggedy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's a drawback with uh with jeeps and uh it's because i mean you're not gonna want to beat them up too much man that's why i like dirt bikes that's why i love this supermoto i don't care if i drop it beat up on it man the plastics are, plastics are cheap to replace and uh these cost like what uh cost me no more than a couple hundred dollars to replace these factory plastics you now for those of you guys that do have a side by side let me know how it is man are those things worth it are they, you know, they look like so much fun. But I want to hear the feedback from you guys. Let me know if I should go that route. Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.